Hi everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to paint your own funny watercolor cat. The art supplies we'll be using in this video include this set of watercolor brush pens from Bright Crown. This set comes with 24 unique colors and a water brush pen. We'll also be using this watercolor paper pad from Bright Crown as well. Some other supplies you can use include this um, black fine liner pen set and Bright Crown also offers watercolor pencils. You will also need a pencil and an eraser to do the sketch for the drawing. So the first thing I started off doing is creating the sketch for this cat. So I started off by making a big oval coming in from the side at an angle and then making the ears and the face of the cat. And I'm sketching this very lightly because I'm going to go over it with black ink and then erase my sketch afterwards. I also made some glasses and a little bow tie. And now using a very thin fine liner pen, I go through um, on the fur and the features of the cat's face and outline them. And you can create some shadows and depth by making the lines thicker in some areas. After I finished outlining this sketch, I went on to erase the sketch with my eraser and now I'm ready to paint. So I'm starting off by painting this bottom section. So first I set down some water using the water brush and then I go through with my orangish yellow color and just fill it in and I apply more paint to the areas that I want to be more pigmented. And then I just went through and did the same thing to the head of the cat and mainly applied color to the sides and the top to have a sort of shading effect. And then in order to add some more depth, I went through with a brown marker and just added color down in places where I thought some shadows would look good. Now I'm going through with this pink color and adding it to the ears and the nose and a little bit on the cheeks as well. The more water that you add, the more diluted and light the color will be. So just try to balance between the marker and the water to create the effect that you want. Now I'm just going through and filling in the glasses frames. Now, in order to paint the bow tie, I just set some water down in the area that I wanted to paint. And then, because of the flexible brush tip, you can use a feathering effect to create some shadows and make the bow tie look shiny and cute. Here's the final painting. Thank you so much for watching this video, and please be sure to check out our full line of Bright Crown art supplies.